everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video on pros and cons of homeschooling, um, in particular being homeschooled. So for those of you who watched my channel for a while, you probably know that I was homeschooled all through from kindergarten until grade 12, um, and now I'm homeschooling my own kids. But in this video, I am going to be talking about the pros and cons of being a homeschool student. So thinking back on my years being homeschooled, and what I would say were the positives and negatives of that. If you're new to my channel and you'd like to subscribe, please hit that red subscribe button. I don't know if it's on the side or on the underneath. I feel like it's probably underneath. So hit that subscribe button and you won't miss out on any of my videos. Um, but let's get started on these pros and cons. I'm gonna start with the positives um, and then I'll do the cons after that. So. The first um, positive, being homeschooled, uh, was a flexible schedule. And because of that flexible schedule, I was able to work from a young age. Um, so I think actually one pro as well to the flexible schedule is um, discipline for myself and learning how to, you know, work my schedule around things and make make my um, make the most of my day. And also, I was able to work um, as a teenager when most kids were in school. So, in during grade twelve, I actually got a job cleaning at a retail store before it opened. So that was like six thirty to nine every morning. I did that, um, and then also all through high school, I did a lot of babysitting. And so I had um, families that I would babysit for who. <laughs> I was the only one who could babysit their kids during school hours. So I could babysit in the morning and then do my school in the afternoon or if they needed me maybe during nap time so they could go out, I would babysit at that time and work my school around that. So it wasn't a regular thing for most of my high school years, but um, they knew they could call on me and I could probably work my schedule um, around that job. Another pro was a close family relationship. I grew up being very close to my parents and to my siblings, and I'm still so close to them all. And um, I think a big part of that was to do with us growing up very close, always being together, and um, I am thankful for that very close family relationship we have. Another thing I liked about being homeschooled is that I was done early in the day. As long as I didn't have that extra, those extra jobs during the day, um, if I wanted to, I could start school right when I got up. I had just a list of what I had to get done, so I could start school if I wanted to at 8 o'clock. Um, and even in high school, I could be done probably by about 1, 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock. Um, and so that was nice to get done early. I could focus on extracurricular stuff like music. I took piano lessons from the time I was 7 all the way till I was um, done high school and I got my piano teacher's degree when I was 18. Yeah, I was 18 when I got it. And I know for sure that if I had been going to public school, I, I really don't think I would have had the time to invest into music and to get that degree. And so being homeschooled definitely helped me have more time to do that. Another positive was not having any homework. Um, my friends would in the evenings be like, well, we gotta go, we gotta go do our homework. And they talk about the extra projects they had and stuff and I didn't have homework. I mean, all my schoolwork was homework, but it never took place in the evening. So um, I don't know what it's like to have that extra homework, but when my friends had to go home early or um, you know, spend that time inside doing their schoolwork, I was glad to have it done earlier on in the day. So now I'm just gonna mention a few cons that I experienced being homeschooled. And the first one is only having one teacher all the way through school. And of course, being homeschooled, that was my mom. Um, my dad really wasn't involved. He was always at work, so he, he wasn't really involved in our schooling. Um, and for the most part, that was fine. There were no issues. But I do know that there were some parts along the way where maybe my mom was a little bit frustrated trying to teach me something and I wasn't understanding it. And I think maybe if I had like another voice to help me through that, or even if one year maybe something wasn't really sinking in, the next year with a different teacher um, could have uh, showed that to me in a different way, um, explained it better or something, I think that maybe would have helped me. Um, but really there was no issues. I just, that's one thing that I think um, is a con to homeschooling. Um, but nowadays, I mean, there are so many online resources and stuff that, I mean, I think you could work around that very well. Uh, another con is I wrote down here negative comments and criticism. Now, that 
is did not happen a lot but I know during I should have mentioned this too as far as jobs go um, during elementary school my my older brother and sister and I had a paper route and um, we were able to do that we usually did it right after lunch and I just remember this one old man on one of the streets we went to and literally every time I came by he'd be like playing hooky again and I was like no I'm homeschooled but this was 20 years ago and so it was less common back then and so I think he just didn't believe me like but I mean who really who plays hooky and delivers newspapers anyways um so it didn't happen a lot but you'd still get you know every time you went to the store and my kids experience this now people are like why aren't you in school and you just have to explain yourself so often because homeschooling isn't the norm and so sometimes as a quite quiet and shy kid as I was um I would have liked to avoid those questions and just be normal like nobody has to ask me why I'm not in school all the time. Now my last con to being homeschooled is um, feeling a little bit left out of a group of peers. So especially um, in my elementary years most of my friends, well some of my friends were homeschooled. Um, in high school I did have a few homeschooled friends but in our church we have a private school where you know, 90% of the teens in our church go to this private school. And so because of that, any extra like youth group events or conferences and different things we would do, they would all have these stories like, remember when this happened in school? And oh, what did you think of this? How that went today? And they'd be like studying together or, you know, just doing stuff together because they all had that bond of going to the same school. And because I was homeschooled, obviously I was left out of that and sometimes just felt like I was on the outside of this group of friends. I did have a good group of friends, but it just felt like I was a little bit left out. I was out of the, out, you know, I didn't know what they were talking about, a lot of their stories and stuff. Um, which I think is probably a little bit different because it was this private school where everyone went to. Um, you know, out in, you know, neighbors and stuff like that, often they will go to different schools and you maybe won't have that one group that all goes to the same school. Um, but that was, that was my experience. That was probably my least favorite thing in high school as far as being homeschooled was just feeling a little bit left out because I was homeschooled. So that is my list of pros and cons. As you should probably know, the pros do outweigh the cons because now I have chosen to homeschool my kids as well. So I am thinking of doing a video on pros and cons of homeschooling. So not as a student, but as a mom, as a homeschooling teacher now. And so please give this some video a thumbs up if you would like to see a video like that in the future. And comment down below pros and cons that you thought you had when you were homeschooled, if you were. I love finding um, other he people here on YouTube or people in person that were homeschooled all the way through because it's quite rare at our, like at my age. Um, I think now that my kids are being homeschooled, I think when they grow up, there will be a larger number of people that had that experience of being homeschooled because it's definitely gotten more common since I was young. But, um, and once again, please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.